a.m. What time is it? Fish tank update time? Fish room update time? I don't know. It's just update time. We're starting off with the 55 gallon and Buna tank. Um, did a little bit of substrate changes, changed the rocks around some. It was mainly because I did a big cleaning on it, big gravel vac, pulled everything out and cleaned it all up because I had that uh, disease. Uh, uh, fungi, whatever you want to call it, going on in there. I treated it, and after I got done doing that, I bit it, did a big 70% uh, water change, pulled out all the rocks, and cleaned it up real nice. Um, and also added in some green, got some live plants going on in there. And that one right in the middle that you're looking at right now has just grown. I mean, they only been in there for about two, three days, and it's grown some in two, three days. Um, I didn't put any ferts or anything like that in there, just straight added the plants. Those grass plants were living. And un un unplant un putting the sand in my sick in my uh, convict tank, uh, just floating around. They were doing good, staying green. So I figured, well, hell, they they should do all right in there. So what we got going on in here? This tank is now fully stocked. Okay, um, fully. I added it in the uh, added in the ten uh, red zebra fry that I had, and the male and female red zebras that were in there. So that 55 gallon is now empty, and I divided it, and it's now ready for some pairs and trios. So that's what's going to be going on. I'll show you that in a minute, and that's going to come soon. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I just got a. Uh, I'm trying to read that. Just got a text from. Uh, I got a group chat going on with a few of my bros that. Uh, I, I talk with from YouTube. I got a, uh, we go back and forth in Famous Aquatics. We got Fishy Drizzy and Danny uh, Orlano in there that we I go back and forth with them all day. I mean our group text goes crazy. It's it's crazy. It goes I, I, we go back and forth all day. But those are my people that I talk with on YouTube uh, on a daily basis. Daily basis. I talk with a lot of people on YouTube, but we got a group chat and we just talk all freaking day. So let's get close. Uh, I know this is update time. It's not about my text time. Um, so let's take a look. All in Buna's in here except for two fish um we got the clown loach that you've seen and i also added which he is back there let's see if i can get him you see that tail right in between there and the rocks um i added a striped Raphael catfish i was at the fish store and he just looked dope and i was like let's try it out i know nothing about catfish and i've seen catfish in african cichlid tanks and i said oh let's try it you know i, I should have done research i know guys fault me on that but i said let's try it why not you know so and he's doing good so far you know i drop a little bit of blood worms down in there which i feed my convicts anyways and he grubs on them they're nocturnal so uh you know uh he comes out at night and he stays in these rocks i figured he'd do good because uh they stay down in the rocks and he that's what he does is stay down in the little caves down in there so this tank is just looking outstanding it's kind of cloudy because i just fed them like i said i dropped a little bit of blood worms and some new life in there and so uh, they're going crazy um when i put the male and female red zebra back in there my yellow lab got kind of mad he's chasing them around that you could see my larger one because i have two juveniles in there so and that's what's going on with the 55 man i think that tank looks dope i'm very happy with it it's fully stocked now and it's going to stay like that for a while bam, so let's move bam on. double bam we're looking at the 125 baby the tank that was a uh, Man, I just can't decide. I feel like if I don't do a peacock tank, I'm cowarding out. You know, my girlfriend told me that. She said, you're just cowarding out. And I said, you don't know nothing about fish. And I kind of felt like I was cowarding out about doing a peacock tank. So I'm going to have a decision on the, if this is going to be American Cichlid Tank or a peacock tank here very soon, you know. And I'm just going back and forth. There, this is going to take, you know, some time and a little bit of money, you know. So I'm going back and forth. So when I'm ready to fully get it done, do the canopy, do the bottom, and, and decorate exactly because if it's going to be out African, uh, African uh, peacock tank and hap tank I gotta add more if it's gonna be American single tank I gotta add more so you know I gotta go back and forth and I don't want to go buy stuff and uh, you know not and, and and not be what I want so you know I, I to be honest this is a hobby man this is what happens when you have a legitimate hobby that you do you know I don't do this for any other reason because I love this only because I love this hobby and you know so it, it's tough sometimes man anybody who knows and this is a straight hobby factor keeping cichlids a straight hobby factor knows you go back and forth man and I don't want to feel like I'm cowarding out so I gotta make a correct and complete and thoughtful decision on my behalf of what I'm gonna do with this tank I really would love to see this 
this tank, you know, uh, just laced with peacocks and just looking dope with all males. But I would also love to see this tank with some uh, American cichlids. And I'm not talking about just getting one big or two big American cichlids in there. I'm talking about, uh, you, you know, having a nice community American cichlid tank and just making it look dope with driftwood and some rocks and some plants, you know, or doing a peacock tank. You know, I'm not sure. Um, I know next step is just going to be really working on the stand and the canopy. So that's done and to give me time to uh, think about what this tank's going to be, you know. But as far as now, tank's looking good. I kind of did some rearranging just to play around in it and uh, with the rocks, you know, because I, you know, to help kind of determine what I wanted to do. And that's really what we're at right now, people. Um, as you can see, my, um, my, ah, I wanted to call this guy Otter Point. I'm sorry, I, I'm really good with names. And uh, my Eureka right there is not showing too much colors I don't know why usually his chin is fully red and he's full you know our chin is fully blue and his reds are all showing you know but he's not he's being a prick you know and uh, so we'll move forth we got my sunshine right there that doesn't show much color in this tank for some reason but I can't wait for him to get bigger we got my redhead Chalumba that is up for sale so hit me up and we'll talk about it and then we have my dragon blood in here somewhere that is just outstandingly stunning somewhere I wish he would show himself but he's not so I guess you're not going to be, oh, there he is, but he's hiding. So they're mad at me. I did all this last night, rearranging, cleaning up and all that. And uh, so, you know, we're going to move forth on this tank. It's going to come soon. It's looking ugly. Look at that stand and all that stuff. I mean, come on. I got to work on that. You know, that's going to be first, and then I'll start figuring out what's going to go inside of it. But for now, you know, I'll make sure it stays looking good. Fish Let's room, oh, fish room, oh, fish room. Don't you love a fish room? I do. Um, so there we go. We're at the 55 right now. <laughs> I do. Um, starting to sound like my boy, uh, Fishy Drizzy. Um, 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 I'm sorry, bro, but, uh, um, but, uh, as you see the 55 right now, I got it divided and sectioned off. And, uh, ready for some pairs and trios. You know, I'm sorry about that pod. It's all tipped over. I had to get my zebras out and they were up and down, up and down. So I got that all ready. Uh, pairs and trios coming soon. Got the 55 down here filled with water. It's just because I broke the brace in it and had to fix it. Wanted to make sure it's holding water. So if you have a tank that's uh, 55 or bigger, you know, small tanks, you can do something different. But with the brace that's broke, get you a piece of plexiglass, silicone it on each side just like this, all the way across. You want it tapping into this, not the brace. You want it actually, uh, you know, adhered, adhered to this part. And, uh, and uh, it'll hold water. It's completely full. As you can see, it's completely full. And, uh... Brace is doing fine. It's been like that for two days now. Um, we're going to move over. Let's look at my Burchard eye and in this beautiful 10 gallon tank where I added some uh, some uh, plants and some dwarf hair grass. I have no idea, like I told you on my 55, what those are called. No idea. And some dwarf hair grass to see if I get some growth and all that good stuff. As you can see, uh, the male's been over here digging. Not real sure what's going on. Um, he's back in the rocks right now. There's the female. And I'm hoping that I get something going out of these guys. Um, these guys are going to be soon uh, moved. I'll probably, as you've been knowing, I've said it, and I've been talking to my boy Danny Orlano about a planted tank because he does planted and disc tanks. Discus, excuse me, planted and discus tanks. And I've been hitting him up a lot, picking his brain. I know he's new, but uh, man, he's good. And, and, you know, picking his brain about a planted tank. And I'm going to partner up with him on a planted tank. And it's probably going to be a 10-gallon, just like this, a planted shrimp tank. And uh, there's my male. He come out. Let's, uh... Ooh, look at him. Oh, man. Come on, stud muffin. Just get with that female. So, you know, so we'll move down. Some dwarf air grass and some plants in there. I have no idea what them long plants are. Um, but they are strong, hardy plants, people. We're going to move on down to this double stand for the tin. To the Demasona female right there that is holding for me. She's got about a week left before she's going to spit them out. A week, seven to ten days before she's going to spit them out there. She's got some action going on in her mouth right now. Um, like I said, there's probably a good uh, five in there, maybe more if I'm lucky. You know, so uh, I can't wait for her to spit them out. Uh, if she doesn't spit them out in about a week, I might get her and rub her throat and get them to get them out. You know, and feed her, get her back healthy, and throw her back in the 55 gallon in Buna tank. We're going to move to the last tank. Last tank is the convict cichlid tank there's just no green going on in it because i pulled the plants out and uh you know i had to divide it the male was going to kill the female he had her beat pretty bad there's this stunning male come on up buddy 
Yeah, he loves the camera. One of my only fish that truly loves the camera. Look at that stud muffin right there with his babies. He does not mess with his babies. He takes care of them. He stirs up the sand to, to give them uh, some, some food play in there. And uh, as you can see, some of them are carrying around some blood worms because I just fed them like that guy right there in the black. You know, these guys are hardy little hungry suckers. And, uh, you know, they're growing, not growing as quick as I like them, but they're growing, you know, and uh, just look at that stud muffin right there. Gosh, look at him. Man, look at him. Come back up, buddy. Show us what you're all about. Get in your pot. He never goes in that pot, neither, ever, and he goes in it now. We'll move over to this side. This side, the female's on. She's hiding somewhere. She's probably up in this back driftwood somewhere. If I tried to show you, it'd be super dark. And uh, she's getting better. She's already got some fin growth in there. I've been treating it with Melifix. And uh, getting it on, trying to get her all shaped and shipped up and, uh, you know, going on. So and what's going to happen is if I plan to do that 125 American cichlids, this pair and all their fry are going to go in there. And I'm going to start filling it up with more American cichlids. So if I plan on doing that, these fish are going to go in there. And this 30-gallon rimless sea clear tank is going to be a Tanganyikian, uh, well, a Bouchardi tank, a colony of them. So... We're all done, people. I appreciate you watching, man. You know, guys, don't forget to hit that sub button. You know, you know, I love this hobby, and if you want us to watch someone who, who truly loves the hobby, subscribe and watch my videos, man. I'm all about it, you know, and uh, moving forth, there's a lot going on in my, in my fish room and my fish hobby. You know, I truly love it, and I appreciate all the support to my current subscribers, and if you sub, man, I love you. I love you. You know, comment, let me know what's going on, and uh, just as a little uh, goer, Hit me up and, 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 and leave a comment and let me know what your favorite American cichlid is. Comment in my comments. I don't want to know what your favorite African cichlid is. I don't know what, want to know what your favorite uh, Tanganyikian cichlid is. I want to know what your favorite American cichlid is. New World, Central American, South American cichlid. I want to know what your favorite American cichlid is. Guys, again, don't forget to uh, subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, stay wet, people. Always stay wet. Stay happy in the hobby. If you're not happy, it's not your hobby. And I appreciate you guys for, for watching. Stay wet.